sharing wanton violence or any kind of information that the purpose is to get people hurt. In fact, what I'm doing here is quite the opposite. I'm making this video to help others like me who have been stripped of the personal freedoms that other Americans enjoy. Whether you made a mistake in life or were wrongly convicted of a crime, you have options to be prepared for everyday life in the United States. I'm a convicted felon today because two carloads full of gangbangers ran me off the road 14 years ago in an attempt to try and kill me. Had I not shot one of these men, I would not be here today. Young and dumb to the ways of the world, I signed a paper and made a deal with the Justice Department that was supposed to give me my freedom, but instead made me a marked man and changed my life forever. It put my name at the top of an organized crime hit list. It got me involved in a role with the U.S. government that was a terrible role to play. The specifics of that shootout and the events surrounding it is a story for another video. But if you would like to hear that story, comment below and I'll do a video on it and talk more about that. Since then, I've had to survive further assassination attempts without having the right to protect myself. These further attempts on my life, again, obviously because I'm still here today, resulted in further self-defense situations. The subsequent violent encounters with attackers and would-be assassins left me getting arrested again and again repeatedly. Put in jail without any evidence that I committed a crime. Sent to court in front of a judge who just shuffles around some papers and doesn't really know anything about me or my case. Overloaded with his things and just looks at everybody as a criminal and signs a paper to assign another court date regardless of the impact that it has on an innocent man's life. Lost time, lost work, lost money, only to be found innocent and then let go of course, without even an apology, just released and being a marked man. The arrests will stay on my record forever. Even though I was found innocent of all charges, the arrests will remain public information and nobody wants to read as far as to see that I was proven innocent of those charges. They just want to stop at reading that I was arrested for these multiple, many, many felonies. Over and over again until the lawyer fees and court costs and just Proving my innocence cost me hundreds of thousands of dollars. New state, new name, new country, it didn't matter. All the result of being 18 years old and using a pistol to defend myself when legally you have to be 21 years old to use a pistol to defend yourself. I became the product of a system where police are pressured to make arrests whether right or wrong. They just have to get those arrests. Where the success of a district attorney of their entire career depends on their conviction rate, how many people that they put and keep behind bars, regardless of whether those people are innocent or guilty. A system where the detectives just want to close the cases that are piling up on their desks. They don't really care who they put behind bars or why. Everybody just becomes a number, a statistic, and they just want to get done with them and close the case rather than doing any actual investigating work. I've never voted. I will never be able to hold a normal job. I'll always be harassed by law enforcement. And I'm the only person in America today that it is legal to discriminate against. Not just legal, but encouraged to discriminate against the convicted felon. But I'm here to tell you that if you are a convicted felon, you can still defend yourself. You just have to be very careful doing it and you have to think outside the box. The fateful day that I shot that man led me to find God, create a successful business, and go on to travel the world in my created niche, doing things that no man 
had done before. You should be allowed to continue living your life like a human being and not have to live in fear of our for-profit prison system. If everyone else has turned their back on you, I have not. I understand your pain and I'm here to tell you that there's still some things that you can do to be prepared to defend yourself and your loved ones in an emergency here today in America, even as a convicted felon. All of these things that I have on the table here are convicted felon legal to carry in the United States. And they're all items that are very helpful and that can save your life in many ways, not just weapons or not just something like that, but there's a lot of different options here as far as items that and how they can be used. And I'm gonna go through now and show you each individual one. So what I have on is basically absolute minimum. I'm from Florida, I live in Florida, I like to hang out, I go to the gym, chill, go to the beach, whatever. So it's minimal attire. I don't necessarily wanna have on a, a baggy vest to have my concealed carry, anything like that. So I'm wearing, as you guys already saw the load up video, I've got on literal minimum attire, gym shorts and a tank top, and I can still carry all this 100%, no printing, completely concealed. The in initial thing that you lose when you become a convicted felon is your right to carry a firearm. There is alternatives to that. I'm gonna start, first option, this is legally not considered a firearm, it's a black powder pistol. I'll give you a real quick rundown on this. I'm gonna do future videos on some black powder stuff because it's very involved. The first few questions I get are, is it actually an effective weapon and is it reliable? Okay, is it an effective weapon? A black powder 45 pistol has killed a lot of men. Okay, a lot of men. And the ballistics are very similar to a 45 ACP, so we can just end that discussion right there. It's extremely effective. You've got six shots on here. I recommend only loading five because you want to carry on an empty cylinder. Don't carry half cock, don't carry half cylinder if you have that kind of a model. It's just too dangerous. Firearm can go off. Percussion caps are, are not something you want to play with. There's a, a two models that, that I kind of would use, and I have a few of each. I have a Colt and a, and a Remington, okay? And the, the Colt is a lot easier to aim, okay? It's, it's a lot easier to aim, and basically, this firearm's been cleared. It's completely cleared. Um, I'm not going to do it with a loaded firearm. I will show you guys more about that, like I said, but this is a completely empty firearm, okay? I'll get into the loading process and all that in other videos, but the Remington is a little stronger of a model a little less natural of an aim. A Colt is a more natural to aim. Is it reliable? Samuel Colt would load up one of his pistols and stick it in a bucket of water and give his spiel after he invented his firearm about how cool it was and how great it was. And it was a black powder pistol and he'd pull it out of the bucket of water about 10, 15 minutes later after he gave his, basically his Billy Mays spiel on why his pistol was so cool and then he would shoot that pistol out of a bucket of water. There are things that you can do and ways that you can make it water resistant. I wouldn't recommend obviously getting it wet. And yes, if you get your powder wet, it'll, it won't fire, but you can seal these ends and there's various ways to seal with grease and, and, and cotton wads with, that have grease in them. And I've got all that kind of stuff. I'll show you in other videos. You're gonna have to do a lot of research on it. You're gonna have to prepare yourself, but done right, this is an extremely effective pistol. Also, you don't need a, a smoke screen because it creates its own smoke screen. <laughs> it's not smokeless powder, so you will notice. You gotta be a good shot because you've only got five shots, but it works well in an emergency. This is a regular K-frame revolver, basically a holster that cheap one off eBay. I like to make my own Kydex holsters. I wanted to show you guys this one because it's just a cheap eBay holster and it works very well. K-frame revolver works well with this particular setup. This is a... Pieta Yank revolver, snub nose Yank. It's a smaller version. Uh, it, uh, the only other ones that are real EDC friendly, you're gonna have to make your own. I recommend getting stainless steel when you get into black powder. My other pistols are stainless steel, but that's they don't make this one in stainless steel. And I wanted to do this for you guys and for the purposes of anybody. Now you can just order this right to your house, right off the internet. There's no regulations on it. It's not considered a firearm, 100% legal for just about anybody to own, okay? so. Next is the EDC Kank, all right? Super effective knife there, super concealable. You guys probably know all about it. You know that I make these by hand, each and every one. So that's that. Traveler's Money Belt, guys. I'm gonna get to the kicker here in a minute. There's one thing that I recommend absolutely everybody in the world should have, 
and there's one of these things, and I'll get to that in a second. I'll probably do it last. But the Traveler's Money Belt is just an awesome thing to have a stash. A lot of you guys may know the importance of having a stash. If you have a stash, you have a stash, okay? It's, it goes without being said, this allows you to have a stash. You saw I put it under my clothes. Also, this heavy nylon belt makes you able to clip in this pistol here. And you could have, you could be naked and able to carry this whole setup right here, all right? And if you have gym shorts on, then you're able to conceal it, even with just gym shorts on. I could have, pull my gym shorts up over the top of the, the butt of the pistol right there. And even without a shirt on, I could have a pistol and ten thousand dollars and you wouldn't know i had anything so it's concealment item and you know having a stash so wallet obviously this is a cheap five dollar wallet cell phone keep a case on it if you don't want your cell phone to break now this is the kicker here okay this is a one inch wrench okay this is a quarter inch socket this is a bottle opener this is not a weapon. This is not designed for me to punch you in the face with it, okay? If I did punch you in the face with it, there's a good chance something could go very wrong. So I'm not, I would never recommend that you did that. This is, again, not a weapon. This is the bone opener, not to be confused with the bone breaker. This is the bone opener. It's a multi-tool, just a multi-tool. They all come standard with the driver right here. So if you need to be doing any opening, you know, anything like either side, you can use the screwdriver here. Okay, just stick it in there. And now I have a screwdriver. Comes in it, bottle opener, one inch wrench here, lots of options. And this is a tool, guys, it's a multi tool, can be legally carried anywhere. This is a game changer. Not just for convicted felons, but for everybody. Because what this does now is it allows you to be prepared anywhere and everywhere that you go. So definitely going to have to recommend getting one of these. I've got them coming out in steel as well as aluminum. They're, uh, they're almost, I've almost finished up the first batch of steel ones. So probably by the time this video posts, they'll be available on the website. Uh, if not, it'll just be a matter of a couple days. But... That's the setup I've got here. Guys, again, questions, comments below, anything else you wanna know, but all this stuff is legal. This is the absolute minimum. Now I'm gonna show you a few more things that we can do, and we're gonna take it up a notch. So, one important thing to remember when talking to police, they never have your best interests at heart. So, we're talking about self-defense situations and the ability to defend yourself if you need to. What I'm gonna tell you is, always bear in mind that if police are talking to you, they're trying to get information to convict you. That's the reason we have our Fifth Amendment rights and the right to remain silent, okay? So, it's never a good idea to share too much information. I'm gonna to talk to you real quick before we go into other options and other tools. I'm gonna to talk to you about a mindset and a principle that you need to be aware of. You need to understand that if something goes down and you have to defend yourself, even if you are legally innocent and the law is in your favor, there's a difference between written law and practice law, okay? So you may have to do some things to protect yourself. And the reason that I have this shirt, and I'm showing you this shirt, and one of the reasons that I have this particular material on the inside of this very floral shirt is if I have to use a firearm, and I cannot say, I have allegedly done this before, I cannot say that whether I have or not, but you go through a situation and you have to use your firearm. One option, if you're wearing a shirt like the El Sicario shirt, is to wrap this to where only the camouflage is showing and stash it in some bushes somewhere. Two seconds and that's gone. Okay, no passerbys are gonna see it, nobody's gonna notice it, nobody's gonna know it's there. I look completely different now. 
all right? Now, come here and let me show you some other options. First thing you gotta have, obviously, as a convicted felon is a cool truck. And a cool pair of boots if you got a cool truck. But let's be a little more serious. One tool you can carry is a large knife, all right? This one is double-edged, but only on the bottom here and this whole side here. So I can use it in conjunction with Muay Thai movements, okay, and reverse fighting knife style. Weapon versus weapon, I'm gonna be here. And weapon versus open hand, I'm gonna be here, all right? I can also flip it and use it blade first in a normal, more normal fighting option. As a convicted felon, now this is the Bone Tactical Bush Spear, but makes a incredibly dangerous and effective full-size fighting knife. I work down a lot in Latin America, you guys know that, and I've got even employees of my own who are missing hands or arms from machete fights, okay? And one of the reasons I designed this is based off of the effectiveness in close quarters of a machete and a large knife like that, just a devastating weapon. As a convicted felon, you can legally carry it as long as you can see it in most places, as long as it's able to be seen. Alabama, you can't have one in your car. There's certain laws, certain different states, but most states, as long as it's visible and not concealed, you can have even this big of a knife, okay? We'll continue a little further. I always keep a truck gun, mostly from my work overseas. I'll have a, you know, if something gets really hairy and really nasty, you want to be able to have a bigger weapon to go to. In this case, I've hunted all over with this. This is a very, uh, it's a Hawken style weapon. I'm very, very fond of this. I've had it a long time. And uh, this is a, a Rocky Mountain Hawken and just a beautiful weapon. I am uh, accurate up to about 300 yards. I can have about a six inch group with iron sights with, uh, at 300 yards with this. So it's a 50 cal, all right? A uh, very large bore, as you can see from the, from the end of the bore there, very large bore. It can bring down a bear, it can bring down a moose. Uh, needless to say, it's gonna be more than enough against anything uh, in a self-defense situation. You've got one shot, but a lot of times you only need one shot. And if that's the opportunity, take one shot this is a heck of a rifle make sure you know your weapons guys these these black powder weapons are a world of their own okay you really got to be uh, very squared away with it you got to put in a lot of time a lot of money a lot of practice but if you get good with it they can be very effective okay a very effective way to defend yourself so that's a few of the things now let me show you a, a, one final option this is a cowboy action rig right here I've had a long time and this is one of my favorite pistols here this is a Ruger Old Army, okay? It's This is by far the best single action, okay? Just the best single action pistol. Like I said, keep on a, uh, I recommend staying on an empty cylinder. These are all empty. I cleared all these firearms, as I said earlier in the video for this, for safety reasons, for so I can be filming, but this is a, a little, I've customized it a little bit. It's got some computer grips on there and this is just extremely accurate again fires at about a 45 acp with the with the with the similar ballistics to a 45 acp and it's something in this king ranch edition truck that it matches the the saddle leather and i can just keep it flipped over the seat right there and if i gotta go to a pistol when i'm in the truck i can just reach back up here and i can have the pistol in my hand pretty fairly quickly Okay, lots of options as we discussed, even for a convicted felon, and just a few of the things I wanted to show you guys. Any more questions, comments, concerns, let me know. Bone out. I'm not afraid to be a fool, not afraid to scare you.